Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It is me, Lasty, here. Welcome today to a brand new episode of the FIFA 23 Ultimate Team Pro 2 Glory. Episode number 313, Ep313. Put your hands up and follow me. It's got to be some sort of 8-mile-related Eminem joke. And I'm pretty sure I've probably done that either in a past episode this year or probably last year who knows but i hope you're all doing well random start to the episode as per um but yeah i mean get on into it if you enjoy hit me with a thumbs up as always uh, and of course subscribe to the channel as well if you're new around here cheers so uh today i would say it's the same old same old but things have changed haven't they on fifa so the grind is now slightly different and slightly better for the old end game uh, enjoyment. So I want to talk you through exactly how I'm doing things and you can do this every single day as well. And uh, I would imagine this will be a lot of what the episodes are about going forwards as well um you know because there's just there's not much gameplay stuff i really fancy doing so menu content card collecting getting cool squads just to remember and look back on is uh is is basically the the aim of the game right now so um a few things changed on monday night so 85 times 10s they were the things that we were getting we were able to do them three times a day they cost an 84 and an 86 rated squad uh, with one team of the season or team of the week. Now, that is just one squad required. One 88 rated squad with a TOTS team of the week or TOTS moments seem to still work. They're not, it doesn't necessarily say that in the requirements, but they do work. Meaning that they are now more useful than they were before as well, uh, I would say. Which is good. So when you do your daily TOTS packs, even if you get moments now, they should be able to meet the requirements for the 85 times 10. So that being a one squad requirement um makes it a little bit a little bit closer to what the old 84 times 10 was which is now out again as well where you can almost like repeat it repeat it repeat it you're putting 11 cards in uh to get 10 cards out but a lot of the time if you get good enough cards then you've already got your rating and you just need to shove one more little fodder player in uh we also have futty's nanny to grind out this is a fun little grind because it's uh it's only 35 completions of the futty's crafting spc so you do your daily bronze three or nine uh nine daily bronze uh, or nine bronze cards in three daily spcs uh equates to like 60 something bronze cards uh, you you then keep them for a moment. You do the silver ones, so nine silver cards in three SBCs become 60-something silvers. Uh, and now there's a daily gold SBC, which you can do 10 times, of which requires five bronzes, or six bronzes and five silvers. So those bronzes that you got from the dailies are easily enough to put into the 10 gold upgrades, the daily upgrades where you get um 11 gold players back 10 non-rare one rare now when you start to get duplicates you can put them either into the newest player pick which is the 81 plus um and that hasn't got a rating on it like it did before it is uh it's just five rares and six non-rare golds um and then you also have the fighties crafting upgrade which is where you can just put uh, 11 non-rare golds and when once those go into that that counts that starts the counter on the objective and every five or so that you do you get like a, a milestone pack in in reward like i just got right there uh and from all of that obviously you get enough fodder to do the 85 times 10 uh over and over again you could do it five times a day at this stage um one thing i will say is that it looks it seems as though they've set it up more for end game and more for uh friday night because friday night will be uh batch three of the best of players and we know that that is most likely going to contain team of the season cards and shapeshifter cards uh so your 85 times 10s when you're doing them every day come friday night that you're going to start getting a lot higher rated cards overall, which again makes the 85 times 10 more repeatable, easier. You're going to save more fodder back. That fodder can then go into like the Ronaldinho SBC and then you carry on the grind from there. And then I imagine 85 times 10 next Monday will be either 
repeatable 10 times or just unlimited. Uh, we'll, we'll see what EA go ahead and do. But uh, even 10 of those per day is, is probably going to get you quite a lot of, of SBCs done. So we are really near that point where um, I could go ahead and start an RTG from scratch and make like a custom little series and see what we got for a couple of weeks or something if we are feeling close to done with this one or of course we can carry on on this one uh, and once 85 times 10s become like fully repeatable and easily craftable then um then essentially we just do every icon sbc that's out, out there we'll get ronaldinho we'll get uh rooney and whoever else ends up being out uh that we that we want so i get two what i would consider fairly rare cards in this one future stars musiala and uh the fuck birthday vinicius jr um which i for some reason had like already fancied hoarding him i, I didn't i decided i didn't want to get rid of him uh it, it lasted about 10 minutes until i ended up getting rid of him into the next sbc but um because i realized you know what i'm a few thousand xp away from level 40 I'm just gonna get a better Vinny Jr. in a couple of days' time, so uh, yeah, don't even don't even worry about submitting the foot birthday one. I know he's 200k, but it just doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, essentially, uh, Tots players and I think Tots players went up a little bit again. Uh, Team of the Week players went up a touch again. They were about 20k now about 25k as i'm filming they may have gone up or down since then uh, again and, and tots players were back to around 35 to 38k we get a moment here french cdm <clears throat> i was hoping maybe just for one more uh varan when i saw the france badge but then of course cdm threw that one out the window uh, and we're getting ourselves a sissoko so we can sell him for 20 something K. It's not as much as what a normal tots would have gone for. But uh, as you can see, once a few things are sold, we're up to 222,000 with a team of the week yet to uh, still yet to sell. Uh, and also a one more tots pack that we could open. So I'm hoping if that, that, that goes well enough, we will be pretty close to 300,000 coins again which means when you know it's not 400k it's not another 400k pack but it would be a 300k pack which is 150 players and i quite like that grind so uh as you can see 10 completions done for uh for the footies uh nanny um which gives me another 284 plus pack or whatever it is from that we can get some fantasy foot canadian center back it's the 87 rated guy right yeah miller uh, and I think there's an 88 in the pack as well. I mean, why has Ben Teke not the, been the one that pops up there? He's the same card type, so they have the same value, but Ben Teke is higher rated. I don't get it. I just, I, I struggle with it. I really do. I don't, I don't understand. Uh, but yeah, sometimes from the, so the Futties, uh, the Futties packs gives you these, which is 380 plus packs. Plus, of course, you get the, uh, the fun rewards, the, the big fodder rewards for, your 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 completions with Nanny at the end, of course. Um, so, yeah, it, it really is fodder season now. Uh, I reckon if you... I think that doing all of this grind fairly slowly, fairly chill, whilst watching some Amazon Prime, I can't remember what I was watching, House, I think, the, the Dr. House, the hospital doctor show sometimes watch that it's quite enjoyable um but yeah I, I was doing that i think it took me about an hour and 45 uh to get the daily stuff done so that's taking it from literally those bronze packs right at the start uh and then kind of empty in the club as well even if i had bronzes left afterwards but i couldn't do any more of those daily gold upgrades i would send them into the ultimate uh bronze upgrade thingy and the ultimate silver upgrade turn all of that stuff into non-rare golds probably got some rare golds and non-rare golds left do some more footies upgrades do some 81 plus player picks you know that sort of thing we also get a 94 sun from our uh final tots pack of the day and i was like hey i'm like 50 something k away from from a 300k pack surely he's about 90k or something and uh, i had a little look um and you'll see now what we're listening for 40k that's how much a 94 rated son is but of course there probably still is an SBC son 
the uh, the Futties one, which is five star, five star, even better, of course. So yeah, there's no reason for this one to to hold too much value. So I didn't quite get up to 300k with the sale of Son, but when, uh, once I went through my club and, and sold and discarded a whole bunch of consumables because I haven't done that for a couple of months, I had enough. I got up to 308,000. And with that, we can go for our 300k super jumbo ultimate pack, whatever it's called. Uh, foot birthday pops up, so I think that means no Futties. Is that correct? Not sure. Either way, 89 rated El Shirawi is what pops up. And um, inside the pack, we get no informs, which sucks. Uh, and all, all of a sudden, like down to lowest rated cards. However, we do get a 94 rated Alexis Sanchez, so that's pretty good. Uh, and I can pop him into... Well, I'm, I'm quite happy to say I'm going to pop some of these cards into Nanny. A very famous Nepenthes say in, uh, in the FIFA scene. Um, I, I almost want to get a cheeky Kalor Navas and pop it into Nanny. I really do. Um, but anyway, I do a couple of these batch to re-release stuff. Because again, I was just, I had some spare fodder and I was looking to put them into something to hopefully get like a team of the week or something. Uh, more footies upgrades. We get a team of the year, ladies and gentlemen. French center forward. This is one that I have wanted for a long old time. I really wanted to pack team of the year, Benzema. I really wanted to pack team of the season, Benzema. Finally, we've got one of them. Uh, welcome to the club, Kareem the Dream. The Ballon d'Or winner, of course. 92 pace, 97 shoot. I mean, there's plenty of better cards than him at this point. But still, a really cool one. And that is for the collection. I don't think I'll put that into an SBC unless I pack the tots or something at some point in time. Might even keep it then still. Who knows? But... Uh, we get a foot birthday from the 384s. This was obviously from the either 15 or 20 completions of the, the footies thing. Uh, I'm going to be able to get that done tonight, I think. So in tomorrow's video, I should easily have Nanny completed. Team of the week. Yes, let's go. Sadio Mane, welcome to the club, my friends. Uh, we got him in the 85 times 3 for another one of those completion objectives. Three special cards in that one. And that enables me to do another 85 times 10. Uh, because I'd run out of Team of the Weeks and Team of the Seasons. I sold my tradable ones this uh, on this day to get back over that 300k to open a pack. So that's what stopped me, you know. Still, that is the bottleneck at the moment. It's just the acquisition of Team of the Week and Team of the Season players. Foot Birthday pops up in the 85 times 10. Which I guess means nothing too crazy in the pack. Oh my god. Scroll towards the end, my friends. 96 rated Di Natale. Oh, yes. Five star, five star. He's over 800,000 coins at the time of recording. And just a really nice card. Uh, really, really solid. Solid, solid addition to the club. Might be my end game striker alongside Mbappe, Alawairan, and Neymar um, in that front four. Might be the best one that we've got alongside them. I also, I must still have it. I must still have some of the motivation for the series. Because I played 10 games of squad battles, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, not going to lie, watching some stuff on Amazon Prime really did help along with that one. Uh, and watching an Ipswich Town podcast as well got me through some of the games of uh, of this. To unlock 95 rated Paul Skulls, uh, which can potentially just replace Park Ji Sung right now. Uh, he might be better, he might not. I, I Still, I think Bellingham is my favorite for that spot. Uh, but he's just lacking a little bit of chemistry. Um, so for now, just for the end of the video, I'm going to shove Skulls in over Park Ji Sung. Uh, and yeah, we've got uh, another Club 90 player into the into the squad. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching today. If you've enjoyed, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. We've added uh, 95 Skulls, 96 Di Natale, and a whole host of other cool stuff to the club in this episode. Team of the Year, Benzema, you name it. Uh, we've gone and gone ahead and packed quite a lot of good stuff. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed, smash a thumbs up. Thousand likes would be amazing. Subscribe to the channel as well if you're new. Cheers. Follow me on social media. The links are down below. And I will catch you tomorrow. Very much looking forward to repeating this stuff all over again and seeing what good stuff we can pack in the next 24 hours. I'll see you then. Peace.